Dear students and friends, today we are going to learn chi square test of goodness of fit. Test of goodness of fit used when we want to determine whether an actual sample distribution matches a known theoretical distribution. Chi square test is popularly known as a test of goodness of fit for the reason that it enables us to ascertain how well the theoretical distributions such as binomial, Poisson and normal fit empirical distribution that is those obtained from sample data. We hypothesize a theoretical distribution for example normal and then test to determine whether our sample came from or is comparable to the theoretical distribution. If there is a high degree of conformity between the two distributions any slight difference may be assumed to be the result of sampling variation. On the other hand, any large discrepancy between the two distributions may lead to the conclusion that the sample was drawn from some theoretical distribution other than the proposed one. The null hypothesis usually states that the sample is drawn from the theoretical distribution. On the alternative hypothesis, usually states that it is not. The following example would illustrate chi-square test of goodness of fit. 200 digits are chosen at random from a set of tables. The frequencies of the digits are as follows. Digit 0 to 9. Frequencies 18, 19, 23, 21, 16, 25, 22, 20, 21 and 15. Use chi-square test to assess the correctness of the hypothesis that the digits were distributed in equal numbers in the table from which they were chosen. Given table value is 16.22. Okay, dear students and friends, the question is, we are taking 200 digits from a set of tables. The frequencies of the digits are given. In the 200 digits, 0 appears 18 times, 1 appears 19 times, 2 appears 23 times, and so on. Finally, 9 appears 15 times. We have to test using chi-square test whether the digits are distributed in equal numbers. The solution is First of all, we have to fix the null hypothesis. Null means no difference. That means we have to say the digits are distributed equally in numbers. There is no difference. Alternative hypothesis is just opposite of this. The digits are not no difference, there is a difference. The sum of total of frequency is just add 18, 19, 23 plus up to 15 we would get 200 because we are taking 200 digits if the digits are equally distributed then we should expect just divide 200 by 10 because there are 10 digits then we are getting 20 that means 0 should appear 20 times, 1 should appear 20 times, 2 should appear 20 times, finally 9 should also appear 20 times. Final table is, first column observed frequencies, second column expected frequencies, third column observed minus expected frequencies, then observed minus expected frequency whole square, Observed minus expected whole square by E. 
we are going to find out all these values observed frequencies are given in the question 18 19 23 21 16 and 15 expected frequency is 20 for each row just 20 20 20 now observed minus expected subtract these two 18 minus 20 minus 2 19 minus 20 minus 1 3 1 minus 4 5 2 0 1 5 just square them now 4 1 This is observed minus expected whole square. Now divide this value by e expected frequency value. Once you do that, we will get zero point two zero 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 point zero five zero Just sum them up. We're getting four point three zero. Just add all these values. We will get four point three zero. This is chi square value. Now, in the question, the table value is the calculated value is four point three zero is less than the given table value six point two two. It is less than the table value. Therefore, we have to accept. the null hypothesis because this is less than the table value we have to accept the null hypothesis the conclusion is yes the digits are distributed in equal numbers this is the conclusion thank you